Okay, here is the engine of my 2010 Compass Sport Edition. I'm going to show you what I've done to it. It's got all K&N filters in it for the passenger compartment and for the air. Down here, I'll just take this off, is my battery terminals, which can handle multiple items that I put on. Real neat. Okay. That's my fuse right there for my boom box. And the little gold things you see are for the front headlights. Um, they're little rectifiers that uh, help the LEDs so they don't uh, modulate. All the wiring is hidden in behind that until you get over here and it's all covered in the black uh, factory coating and it goes into where my antenna goes into my vehicle so uh, you can't see any of the wiring really so clean engine too isn't it I keep it pretty nice let's just shut this hood And we'll show you around the rest of the vehicle. It's got the front um, bug guard on it that I put. By WeatherTech, it's got these I've installed. I put in all new uh, panels here. They used to be a black plastic and they were ugly and gone bad. I put on the decal. It's a compass, so I put on the compass decal. And this is the uh, North Edition. Back here, you'll notice my camera and you'll see what that goes to. I put on a hitch in the rear receiver. To tow my trailer up in here the factory has a little flashlight that's rechargeable here it is and it fits right up in here and it recharges up in there pretty neat little item I had to get a new battery for it this vehicle has all LED lighting as you can see down here the bulbs, LEDs, brakes, reverse, and uh, signal. All LEDs. The signals take a resistor too, so they don't hyper flash. Inside is CATS seat covers, which is an upgrade I put on. Not seat covers. They're, it's a complete, you remove the old uh, material. You rebuild the seats because they've worn over the years. And these are all new covering, just like the factory would install. And they're leather. They're uh, made by cats, and they're actually an upgrade in Ford and Chrysler cars. They offer their factory leather seats, and then cats, which you pay more for as an upgrade. I did the back seat also in the cats. just beautiful material and very well done I'll show you where my boom box is you can't see it basically it's under the seat hardly any wiring showing at all and you can see the back of the seats just beautiful so now we'll take you into the inside and this beeping is driving me crazy so as you can see white light that's LED I changed every light bulb in this vehicle to LEDs now we'll turn on the stereo 
It's a 10 inch screen. It's called uh, T E Y E S Ties. We'll just turn this down a little. This uh, will do ever so much. It'll show the record album cover if you've got that into your system. Um, it's a touch screen. Um, we'll just take you back. This here is a program as you're driving. It'll give you your miles per hour here. And it's a Porsche car with your license plate number on it. And uh, it'll show you where your direction, your driving speed and the whole bit. Uh, it also has GPS on it, which will, oops, right now I won't, come on, uh, here's your DVR camera front view, as you can see which records both voice and video rear camera here uh, there is again that Porsche thing um, maps Google Maps uh, 27 band equalizer and uh, you've got surround sound. Um, you can control your subwoofer. You can turn it on and off. Um, this stereo uh, took me about, the stereo itself about an hour to install. It's amazing, it's plug and play. Um, it took me longer to install the subwoofer. So, uh, OBD it's got, where it'll monitor your, uh, your, oops. It'll monitor your travel time, current mileage, trouble codes, uh, engine load, voltage, uh, throttle, uh, air intake, your coolant temperature, the whole bit. Uh, also gives you speed and RPM on that. Uh, you can watch YouTube. It's really a laptop. Uh, in a in a car stereo you can go on Google and uh, uh, watch Google and everything uh, as you're driving down the road if you cross the white or yellow line it'd tell you uh, if you speed it uh, talks to you and tells you you're speeding um, it just does everything you can imagine. Um, you can go on YouTube if you want. Um, you can hook up as many uh, as many uh, uh, sticks as you want. Uh, here you can watch videos on it. Um, here um, we're gonna watch a video. This is a video I did on a trip I took. Isn't that cool? That's my old bike and uh, tent trailer I had. Leisure light. That's Barkerville where I went.
just give you a, a little taste of that. That's Barkerville's main street. That's me riding the bike. So, uh, that's your and like I said, it's touch screen. Screen. Um, let me think what else it'll do. AM, FM radio, of course. Um, you got Wi-Fi, it'll work as a phone. You uh, got Bluetooth in it. Um, oh, it'll just do anything you can imagine. Pictures, you. Um, you can watch pictures. Here, I got a. Uh, here. Here's pictures here. you want album covers again here's Barkerville inside the church it's really quick it's really responsive I've got two sticks in it right now they're controlled from inside the glove box um, right here. Huh. Oh, oh, thing gives me a little bit of trouble once in a while. Okay, so you've kind of seen it. What it all does. Uh, it's giving me trouble. There we go. No trouble now. Again, Barkerville. And it comes with this panel and everything. Just snaps into place. Just pull the old one out. Uh, unplug it. And you plug this one in, basically. Um... Your modules are all included. They're all under inside there, like the GPS module and your module for Bluetooth and everything is all hidden within and Wi-Fi uh, under this. Uh, it's quite easy. Like I said, about an hour's work and uh, you got a new stereo in your vehicle. I uh, love my little Jeep now. It's so cool. Um, just does everything I want. There's GPS where uh, it's detected 26 and it's receiving 14. Uh, it's got a whole bio of apps you can go by. Um, just fantastic. It's unbelievable what it'll do. So, basically that's it.
Bye bye. Oh yeah, I installed all new uh, new speakers in the car too. Uh, they're called Hertz. Uh, they're six by nines, and I put four new of new ones in. Um, nothing left the old stereo system except some of the factory wiring I'll just show you what I did to the trailer that I tow I did some graphics on it also you can see it there nice little trailer I put Suzuki Intruder on it. I put these stripes on it. The Canadian Motorcycle Show. YouTube. Ride Safe. I am the Fringe Minority. Around Back. I put a flag. And the Canadian Motorcycle Show. And if you like to tailgate and I like to break. I hope your insurance is good, Deckel. I put some uh, chrome wheel studs on the wheels. They just add regular lug nuts. I've waxed the whole trailer. Tire cover. I painted the hitch and everything and put on the tire mount. Here it's got the Canadian Motorcycle Show again and the uh, flags that I put on. So quite good. It's I should wax it once more before winter. Wouldn't hurt. But it's a nice little trailer. I house my uh, Suzuki Intruder 1400 inside of it. And it's all fixed up inside with toolbox and shelving and uh, uh, track to tie down the bike. Uh, lots of tie down points. And it's got hangers for my clothes and everything. So it's quite nice too. And I tow it with my little uh, Suzuki Compass. No rust at all on this little Suzuki. It's just fantastic little vehicle. I like it. So that's it. Just showing you the. Uh, LED lights at night, uh, a lot brighter, and round front. We have the, dr the LEDs in the driving lights and in the fog lights. And LEDs in the signal lights too. They're all LED now. So that gives you a good idea on that.